Hi, hello, and welcome to This Mic is Too Big for Me. I am Cams, and before I start, I have a few things to say. This is my second time recording this video because I tried recording this yesterday and my neighbor started playing music and you could totally hear it in the audio. I tried fixing it, but I am not good enough at fixing audio to take off music in the background. Now today, I started setting everything up to record and they started playing music again. They're playing music right now. It's 1 a.m. They're playing music at 1 a.m. So. I hopefully you can't hear it, but you might hear it. Just ignore it. Hopefully YouTube doesn't pick it up. I don't think it's going to pick it up. I try setting up my microphone the best way possible so you could not pick it up, but my piece might sound up. So sorry about the piece. Um, the second thing I wanted to say is my microphone is also here, not just because of that, but because earlier today, my, like the arm I used on my desk to hold my microphone just fell off. It's just fell off microphone and everything and I couldn't find the stand for this microphone so I'm just using the one for my for my old snowball mic that I had years ago because that's the only one I could find and this is too heavy to just hold it on my hands so I'm holding it on my belly so once again sorry about the piece I lost the thing that goes on top that makes the piece sound better okay now that I'm done with that let's actually roll the intro Do you ever have an idea in your brain and you can't get rid of it until you do something about it? Hopefully that's not just me because this happens to me a lot. I actually have a list of video ideas that are just things I keep scripting in my head and I want to make a video so bad about them, but I just don't have time. That has definitely been the case for some of my previous videos that just seem to come out of nowhere. Well, it's 2023 and I have more free time now, so I'm going to try to make videos on as many of those ideas as possible. Even if it's for things I'm the only one that cares about. This is all to say, this is an idea that has been in my brain since I first found out about it. I even have the thumbnail in my head already. Although I don't know if that's actually going to look good, so we'll see. My point is today's video is about uwu, more precisely the origin of it because it's information I found out and I need to share it for some reason. Also, I'm going to be referring to it as uwu for the whole video, so if that bothers you, I'm sorry. I feel like maybe when I first heard about uwu origins, less people knew about it. So much time has passed since that is more common knowledge, but I'm still making a video about it because I want to. And I'll also tell you about other things about it for fun. Let's just start before I start ranting about something unrelated. All sources are linked in the description as always. If I get anything wrong or I'm missing information, feel free to correct me or add to it in the comments nicely. I'm only human and I'm trying my best. Okay, so before I would even start talking about the origins of Uwu, I think I should first explain what it is, even though I think most people know. Most places you find explaining what Uwu means will refer to it as an emoticon, and it is, of course, an emoticon. But to be more precise, it's considered a variation of a cow emoji. A cow emoji is a type of Japanese emoticon that incorporates special characters used in Japanese writing. Unlike most Western emoticons where you kind of have to turn your head sideways to understand the expression that is being conveyed, cow emojis can be perfectly read horizontally. They are considered cute and here are some that you have probably seen before. Uwu is most likely a simplified version of this cow emoji. The two U's are supposed to be closed eyes and the W a cute smiling mouth. Uwu is commonly used to convey quirky happiness, being overwhelmed with cuteness, or even smugness. Sometimes it's referred to as a happy anime face, but it can also be used for shit posting. Shit posting, that's a word this microphone is not like in this state. There are a few Uwu variants, the most popular being Owo. While Uwu is often associated with the furry fandom, I think Owo is more used by them, but that just might be me. Apparently, this was originally used to mock furries, but they ended up reclaiming it. It's also meant to be cute, like a cute way to denote curiosity or perplexion. I'm not in the furry community though, so if you are and have been for a long time, let me know if this is true. We will talk more about the meaning of uwu, how it changed, and the spread later on, so let's put a pin on that. Now that we know what uwu means or represents, let's talk about where it originated from. And for that, we have to go back all the way to the 80s. 
The first credited use of an emoticon occurred in 1982 when Scott Fallman, a professor at Carnegie Mellon University, posted on a university forum his idea for a... Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> The exact origin of uwu is unknown, but it's speculated to have been used in chat rooms in the early to mid 2000s, and as I mentioned previously, it was probably a simplified way of expressing this cow emoji. The first proven use of uwu is related to Yu-Gi-Oh! And now the true motive of the video becomes clear. I had the idea to make this video because I wanted to talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! in some sort of capacity. I should just watch the whole anime again, but I won't. Now, Yu-Gi-Oh! itself isn't a stranger to memes. I know everyone has at least encountered Ascending You to the Shadow Realm or You've Activated My Trap Card meme. Most recently, the popular Yu-Gi-Oh! meme is actually one that not many people know the origins of either and is the Dramatic Crossroads card. It's also known as the Two Roads or Two Path meme. This one is actually from the anime series Yu-Gi-Oh! GX and it's not an official trading card game, it's an anime exclusive. Personally, my favorite, I don't want to say meme, so I'll just call it an internet thing to come out of Yu-Gi-Oh cards is this Tumblr post with the change of heart card. I don't know if it's real, but I choose to believe it is. Uwu doesn't come from the Yu-Gi-Oh anime or the card games. It actually comes from Yu-Gi-Oh fanfiction, more specifically the author's notes. This fanfic is called Genie of the Puzzle by Daka Kitsune on fanfiction.net and I'm pretty sure it's puzzle shipping. This fanfic was published in October 14, 2005, so if you want to get a feel of what fanfiction was like in the mid-2000s, then look no further. This particular use of uwu is seen in chapter 6, author notes, and it reads... Oh god, I can't believe I'm about to read this out loud. Whee! Sarah slash Ryu lover forever was my 200th reviewer. I'm sorry this took so long. Smack self. Again, feel free to throw squids and fish at me. Ooh, ooh, I deserve it, I know. Damn, it really feels like I'm back in 2005. So as I said before, this is the first record of Uwu being used, but it's most likely not the origin. It's most likely that Dakakitsune saw it in some old chat room that no longer exists. Dakakitsune was also present in DeviantArt. What they posted there is not relevant to this video, but I do want to add that the way they write, it's clear that Dakakitsune was prone to this kind of cutesy online language. Well, this was probably the first instance of uwu being used, the context or meaning slowly changed as it gained more popularity. The use of uwu has changed a lot through the years, and nowadays a lot of people view it more as a sound than an actual face. It's also used a lot more as an ironic meme and used in excess to annoy others. Let me expand on that. The emoticon grew in popularity during the 2010s. In 2012, the following definition was added to Urban Dictionary by user Hyrule in bed. Uwu or uwu is another way of typing the smiley face this. It means happy like an anime character's face when they are overjoyed. With the example, wow that makes me so happy uwu. A more recent Urban Dictionary definition by Goldfishy in 2018 says, A texting emoticon used to show cuteness but also is a sin to the internet world. It is basically banned worldwide, never use it in any circumstances unless you want to be attacked. So you can see a drastic change in the use of the word in 6 years. Going back a bit to 2013, a Tumblr post went viral where the user Homuras writes, Uwu isn't even a face to me anymore, it's actually the sound uwu. To this, user StruggleGid replies with, it's supposed to be a face? Then someone adds a little, I wanna say kitty with the uwu face. You can also find so many different types of posts using uwu, whether it's art, more shitposty type of memes, or you know, the classics. In 2021, writer Brian Feldman wrote an article for Bnet called, Are we using uwu wrong? It basically says that the usage of uwu in Dakakitsune's Arthur knows is drastically different to how we use it nowadays. He concludes that this is okay because there isn't one exact right way to use things like emojis or emoticons, and internet language is rarely prescriptive. Like a good example of this is the eggplant emoji. I'm sure when they first made the eggplant emoji, they didn't expect it to be used in that way. But people use it that way. And that's okay. Um, this kinds of terms derive power from allowing the reader to use the surrounding conversation as context to figure out its meaning. Whether you use it as an actual cute face or an ironic way are both valid as well as any other way you decide to use it. 
Feldman also mentions in his articles that using Uwu these days feels a bit like using a MySpace era expression like RxD, which I disagree with, but I can't tell you exactly why. He says it invokes a sense of forced cuteness that feels uncomfortable, but I just feel like Roar XD is different. Is that just me? There's also a popular voice clip from streamer Hana Owo saying Uwu that went viral in 2021, and to many it's considered the voice of Uwu. Okay. Sexier than uh, you thought, but... <laughs> Sorry, I don't talk in a Uwu voice. I don't know what you expected me to do. <laughs> Uwu. Uwu? No! I taught what? <laughs> I can do. <laughs> I didn't know where to add this, so I guess here is the spot. Apparently, the Royal Spanish Academy included Uwu into their word observatory. This doesn't surprise me at all as a Spanish speaker. When I was in high school, we used to joke that the Royal Spanish Academy will add literally anything as a word. They define it as an emoticon used to show happiness or tenderness. And I'm sure there's so many other popular ways I'm not mentioning. It's kind of hard to escape the usage of Uwu these days. I mean, even actor Mark Hamill has made an Uwu tweet. I'm naming this part conclusion because that's what I usually do, but is there anything to conclude here really? Do I always have to conclude these things? I don't know, but I guess what we can conclude is that the internet is a weird place, where quirky little faces are used by people and they evolve and spread through the years. Sometimes these little faces become their own thing, and for some people that's good, they really love using that cute little face. For others, it's the worst thing that has ever happened, a sin, and I think those people are dramatic, but they don't care what I have to say. I am personally not the type of person to use uwu or anything like that. I don't think I have ever been. I have used it ironically a few times and that's scary because the list of things I started using ironically that eventually turned into me using them unironically is very long. To be honest, I wanted to do a video about this ever since I found out uwu was related to Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know. I feel like that was something more people should know. So let me know if you already knew this or if this is brand new information. And that was the video. Sorry if the audio just, just sounds terrible. I heard all the piece when I was recording. This is the best I can do right now. Hopefully I'll have it fixed by next video. I'm gonna try to make shorter videos like this one that require way less research. I don't know how many ideas I have that are actually this short. Considering everything I think about is super long for some reason. I mean, maybe they wouldn't take so long if I didn't read academic papers on them, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm never letting that go. I hate that I did that. I will be working on the last part of the Sexy Man Iceberg video after I finish this. I just needed a break from that, you know? It's a lot. I'm also probably gonna start doing a few book related videos because I read a lot and I have so many things to say. I actually keep writing these essays about books I've read and I don't have anyone to share them with. So I'm gonna share them with whoever watches. I'm actually working on a book review right now. I'll give you a hint as to which one. I don't think you can even see the books in the background in this new setup. But it's there, it's a spicy one. I know YouTube is gonna love the spicy ones. I also want to say that I know a lot of popular book content these days on booktube revolves around book talk and how bad book talk books are. I am truly out of book talk. Like I don't see a single one of their videos the few times I check TikTok. So maybe some of the books I'll talk about are popular on book talk, but I didn't get them from there. I know like at least two books. Yeah, at least two books there I got recommended from book talk, but they're good. They're good. No, actually one is not good. One is not very good. It started good, it got bad. It's not the point of this video. I just wanted to say that. I do know a lot about Bookstagram, but it's because I made friends who are Bookstagrammers and they recommend books I like, but they like good books or at least books that I like, but maybe we all just like bad books. Who knows, what can I say? What I am trying to say, since I keep rambling, is that as of right now, if I make a video reviewing a book, it's gonna be about books I like because I want to rave about them, even if it's ranting to the void. Not only books though, I have like fanfiction and fandom related stuff planned, so I have ideas, I just need to take the time to write the scripts and record and all that. That's all I have to say, I'll leave you to my rehearsed speech. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it and if you're new, make sure you subscribe. I can't even tell you what I do videos on these days because I don't even know but sometimes they're mostly art and internet related so hang out with us if you want. I also stream on Twitch if you want to see me do art or play video games. If you have any suggestions for topics, you can leave them here or on any social media I have on the description. So be sure to check those out for that and updates about videos and art stuff. Thank you for watching and special thanks to my patrons who somehow stick around even with the lack of content these past year. And yeah, see you next time. Have a good day, good night, and good fight. Bye. I didn't even mention in the video that yesterday when I recorded this video the first time, I had like a really cute makeup on. But today I just had no energy. I had no energy so I just put blush on because I know the light is gonna make me look pale as fuck. Because even though I got a tan like a few months ago, this is gone. The tan is gone. Mm. So yeah.